All right, your total is $9. Great, I'll pay for my order with my American Express Platinum card. Uh. Oh, sorry, did you not hear me? I said I would be paying with my American Express Platinum card. I heard you the first time, just not sure why you felt the need to yell it. Oh, was I yelling? I didn't notice. Okay, whatever, you can pay now. Is this machine set to accept American Express Platinum? Sure. Are you sure? Because a lot of machines don't recognize American Express Platinum cards, such as mine, because they're considered luxury cards. Your entire purchase is less than $10. Well, that doesn't stop me from using my American Express Platinum card. Does it? No. Great. So I can just tap my American Express Platinum card? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, but your card declined? What? I said your American Express Platinum card declined? Keep your voice down. Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure that you knew that your American Express Platinum card declined on a $10 per- stuck right now so uh, I'll get back to you. Hey! I'm on a call! Oh! No! Ah! Stop! No! Wait! 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 Oh my, you took out that water from before, right? Aw. Ma'am, I need to inspect your luggage. No problem. Not allowed. Oh! What is this? Oh, that's my pee. Oh, happy pee. Make me pee very, very nice. Oh, Really? Well, they're not labeled or in its containers, so I don't know what this is. Oh, no, no, no problem. They're not drugs. Oh my, you can't say that word here. Where? I said not drugs. Yeah, I'm gonna get this checked. Great, now we're gonna be late. Why would you bring that? It's not what you think. It's a massage. So it's exactly what I think it is. You use peel very nice, no stress. Face roller, it's a, it's a face roller. Interesting design I decided to go with. You get to one, I show you how to use it. Oh my, please stop. Hello, I'm checking in. Thank you, and will you be checking in any luggage today? Just my backpack. All right, so there will be a backpack fee, and I noticed you're wearing a jacket, so a jacket charge. No, I'll just take it off, and I'll just put it into my backpack. <laughs> All right, so a jacket in a backpack charge, and will you be wanting a window or an aisle seat? Oh, uh, okay, uh, aisle please. Great, so there'll be an aisle seat fee. No, just give me whatever seat is free. Only the middle seats by the toilets are free, but they're all taken, so. So I have to pay regardless. That's correct, so aisle fee, and I'll be printing your boarding pass, so print fee. It's okay, I I'll just use my phone. Right, internet fee then, and will you be using the toilet during the flight? I don't know, maybe. You never know, you should get it just in case. So, there'll be a toilet fee, flush fee, toilet paper usage fee, and we also have cleaning charge, odor removal fee, and convenience fee. So, will you be needing a seatbelt? Oh, come on, that's mandatory! <laughs> no. Uh, give me the seatbelt. Smart choice. So with the seatbelt fee and safety charge, a total comes to $1.2 million. Yo, we have an A-list celebrity sitting in the last row of economy and the passengers are going crazy! No way! They didn't tell us in briefing though. Who is it? Good morning, ma'am. It's such an honor to have you on board today. Are you traveling by yourself? Uh, yes, I am. Just checking to see if you're okay. If you would like more privacy, I can check if there's space in business class for you. Thank you so much for your kind offer, but I really want to sit here if I'm not causing too much trouble. I'm actually traveling on a mission trip and they sent me this ticket and I really, really want to honor their gift. And sitting in business class and receiving special treatment just doesn't sit right with me on this trip. I hope you understand. I understand and respect your decision. Yo, those celebrities are taking half of the economy. 
Oh, it's because they're on their missionary trip, so they need the celebrities and their crew. Oh, that makes sense. Hello, sir. Can I help you with anything? Oh, hey. You know who I am, right? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, cool. So as you know, I'm going on a mission trip, so I need to be well rested and economy is so uncomfortable and people are just bothering me with autographs. So I'm just gonna chill here if that's okay with you. Certainly, sir. I'm just gonna go check to see how much it'll be to upgrade you to business, okay? Uh, I need you all to be extra cautious and suspicious with everyone coming in with a child. There has been an increase in child abduction cases, so I need you all to take note, understood? Different last names, hmm. I'm going to question the kid because they're usually honest. I'm going to ask your child a question. Where are you going? United States? Hmm, she doesn't really know. United States where? United States of Disneyland? United States of <coughs> Disneyland? Welcome to the United States of Disneyland. Make sure you get the Fast Pass. Thank you. I am obsessed with New York. Fuck off. Shut the f up and eat a f Love this city. True tales from the skies. Let's go. <clears throat> Ma'am? What are you doing? I'm trying to open the window so I can throw up my baby's diaper. Ma'am, we're on a plane. I know. What's your point? And even if we weren't on a plane, that's still messed up. So please, just give me the diaper. You lost my luggage! Oh, hello. I didn't lose anything, but I will do my best to assist you. May I please get your passport and your luggage tag? You, the company, same, same. Thank you. Okay, yep, your luggage is missing. That's what I said. Did you pick up your luggage when you transferred flights? No, you're supposed to send it to my final destination, which is here, but it's not here. Actually, because you flew internationally, you had to pick up your bags, clear customs, recheck your bags for this domestic flight. How was I supposed to know that? We do tell you when you check in and also prior to the plane landing. Well, if someone told me, I would have picked it up, but clearly no one told me. Let me just call the other airport and locate your bag, right? Hello, hi. I was wondering if you can help me locate a lost luggage. Great, uh, it's luggage tag A35456. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. Makes sense. Uh-huh, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. They found it? No, they couldn't find it anywhere. Your bag just disappeared. Poof. Did you buy insurance? Oh. Well, can they look harder? It has to be there. Luggage doesn't just get up and walk away on its own. Can I make you some tea? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, we have uh, green tea, detox, and uh, shimamale. What did you call it? Sh shimamale. It's chamomile. Wait, wait, <laughs> I texted everyone. No! Babe, I'm hungry, let's go eat. Yeah, let's go eat. Okay, what should we eat then? I don't know, what do you want? What do you want? I don't know, 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 what do you want? What the hell do you want to eat, damn it? It doesn't matter now, does it? Yeah! supervisor I'm the supervisor
supervisor of economy class. How can I help you? Yes, the other flight attendant with blonde hair and black glasses has got to be the worst flight attendant ever. First, I asked her coffee, and then 30 minutes later, she brings me socks. I still never got my coffee. And she's always on her phone. That is so unprofessional. And she's got to be the rudest person I have ever met in my entire life. There must be a misunderstanding. Lindsay is one of the best flight attendants we have. You've got to be kidding me. You know, you're just as bad as she is. You know what? Get me the manager of the plane. What, what do you call it? A purser. Certainly. And bring me a complaint form! Hello, ma'am. I am the purser on this plane. I understand you have a complaint to file. Yes, that's correct. Please fill out this complaint form and I will take care of it. See? Now this is great service. Why can't the rest of them be like you? I'll file this for you right away. Thank you. Change your looks with pair eyewear. Use my code Genie15 for 15% off. What are you doing? We were supposed to be at your party 30 minutes ago. Yo, I'm trying. I've been trying to glue on my lashes for the last 15 minutes. Ugh, I knew it. Here, happy birthday. Aw, thanks. <gasps> lashes. This must have been so expensive. Yeah, it was. Get 25% off with code CYBERGENIE. Thank you, but this still doesn't help my situation. They're magnetic lashes? Where have you been? Just choose the lash you want. Hurry. Oh, I like Foxy. Good. Now trim to fit your eye. Good. Now use the waterproof magnetic eyeliner and put two coats of eyeliner. Wait two seconds and then just put them on. See? Done! Now do the other side! Hurry! Ooh, me likey! Okay! You look fabulous! Okay, let's go! It's above it! Hurry up! Change into your outfit! I don't know what to wear yet. Oh, my God. I give up. If you are a flight attendant or if you were a flight attendant, you really don't get phased by much anymore. Like, we've seen it all. Oh, I just want to take a shit and just like smear it all over the walls. Disgusting? Mm, whatever. We don't really get phased. Oh, a tarantula is loose in the cabin. Mm, scary, but, you know, I can see how it happens. I didn't think it was possible to shock me any further. On a recent Delta flight, there was a situation in the cabin where a passenger in 13A is breastfeeding a cat and will not put cat back in its carrier when the flight attendant requested. This is a new one. That's a new one. I really wish I was there. <laughs> Stop! I don't think my wife came on board. She's not in her seat. What do you mean, sir? We got into a fight at the airport and then she just walked off and I thought she boarded the plane, but she's not in her seat. I'm sure she's on board, sir. The ground staff has confirmed everyone is on board. Have you checked the toilets by any chance? I did! I looked everywhere. She's not in the airplane. Please don't take off. Don't worry, sir. We won't until we locate your wife. Hey, what's going on? He says his wife is missing. He thinks she didn't board the plane. What? Oh, she's on board for sure. There's no missing passengers. Can you just let the captain know about the situation and I'll just do a PA, okay? Oh my gosh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are looking for a passenger right now. Could Anita Cox please make yourself known to cabin crew? Anita Cox. Thank you. Excuse me, it's been like two hours. I'm gonna miss my connecting flight. This is all my fault. I should've just bought her the bag she wanted. Sir, the captain told us that we cannot delay this flight any longer. We have double checked to make sure that she is on this flight. Her ticket has been scanned, so she's definitely on here. Unfortunately, we will be offloading her luggages. Would you like for us to offload your luggage as well? Offload my luggage too, please. Certainly, sir. What we need to do now is actually check every single person's boarding pass just to double check again. Dude, leave her! Ma'am, as you heard from the announcement, we are looking for a missing passenger. May I please check your boarding pass?
Ma'am, we've been looking for you for the last two hours. Didn't you hear the public announcement? Your husband is very worried about you. So, I didn't want to talk to him. Ma'am, you've delayed this aircraft for two hours. Many of these passengers will miss their connecting flights because of you. So, that's not my problem. You know what? You're right. You shouldn't be a problem either. Ah! Help death do us part, baby! Things you didn't know about cabin crew. Secrets of the aircraft lavatory door. Let's go! Did you know as crew, we have the power to control the lavatory door? That's right. For instance, in this lavatory, you see that sign right there? This actually opens up. There's a flap. And then there's a sliding mechanism underneath that will help you lock and unlock the lavatories at any time. So why would we even want to open up a toilet door? Number one, people get stuck in it, mostly kids, but adults too. Number two, for emergencies. If someone is passed out in there, we gotta get you out. And for those people that decide to use these facilities for other activities such as, uh, you know, you know, yeah. <whistles> Just wanna let you know that we probably would not open the doors, but Where are we? Cocker City, Kansas, home to the largest ball of toys. Were you planning for spring break? Come on, this thing weighs 20,000 pounds. We are not spending spring break here. Where is this place? Is this Singapore? Dude, this is where all the crazy rich Asians are. That's a movie. Not everyone in Singapore is rich. Hey, ladies. You all in Singapore? We could be. Gross. If we go to Singapore, will you be our sugar dad? Lizzie, stop! Steven, can you please give the lady in 15 see her breakfast? Good morning, ma'am. Here's your omelet. Is there anything else I can grab you? No. Bring me mother. Mother? I I'm sorry. I, I don't understand. Mother! Bring me mother! Whose mother? Your mother? My mother? Mother Teresa? I don't know what you want me to do, lady! Mother! Mother, mother, mother! Ma'am, that's an omelet. Steven, you're not supposed to yell at the passengers! It's not my fault she's not making any sense! Mother! The bring me mother! Mother! She's talking about the egg's mother? She wants chicken! Mother I like you. I'm not interested. I like you. I said no. I like you. Oh my gosh, you're so obsessed with me. I like you. <laughs> Things you didn't know about cabin crew. The forbidden cockpit. Let's go. To all the influencers that keep requesting to take photos in the cockpit while we're in mid-flight. It's not gonna happen, so please stop asking. We are crew, and you know how hard it is for us to even get in? When cabin crew want to access the cockpit, there are strict procedures that we need to follow. Why? I'm just going to say it. It's to prevent psychos from hijacking the plane. You can only open the doors from inside the cockpit. Airlines will have their own strict procedures. I was trained to first clear the area, make sure that no passengers are around. If there is a lavatory close to the cockpit, we will first make sure it's vacant and then keep it locked open. Another crew member will remain on guard for you to ensure that no one else enters your space. And then we knock on the cockpit door, smile for the cameras, and maybe they'll let you in. Same thing for when we leave the cockpit. We have to make sure everything is clear. So we check the people, check the camera, check with the crew. Everything is good. We leave. Hey, can I take a photo in the cockpit? No! <laughs> Why do we have tequila in the fridge? 
Why are you dressed like that? Why is she dressed like that? I'm going out. But it's seven o'clock. Yeah, and? We're just going to a shop, right? No, we're going out, out. Are we getting food? No, we're gonna get drunk. You can't drink, you've not fed me. What? No, you said we weren't gonna drink again. Relax, we're just going for a quiet one. No, you're lying. Last time you said that, I nearly died. We're gonna do shots, right? No. No, we can't go through this again. I've just recovered. I promise, we're just having one. One bottle? Oh my God, you want me to die. Will you pack it in? Stop winding her up. You're a murderer. I'm not a murderer, you're being so dramatic. No, I'm not. What have you eaten today? She's only given me a slice of toast today. That's not enough, I'm gonna drown. <sighs> oh, here we go. I'm never gonna recover from this. Why am I bald? I'm being serious right now. Look, my best friend sent me this cryptic message. So? She's a criminal. And I haven't been able to reach her for a year. She's in trouble. I know it. You gotta help me. Hmm. I got it. You're going to find the penguin from Happy Feet. You're going to feed him cherries. He'll out a key, which then you'll bring to the king of Liberia, who will then tell you where your friend is and use the code 7700 and you free her. You idiot. Give me this. I'll do it. I got it. I know where she is. So, were you right? Did you find your friend? Well, you can find out on season two of The Flight Attendant, streaming now on HBO Max. Hey, what's going on here? I'm gonna be late for my shift. We're just waiting for a random drug and alcohol test. A test? What for? They do this sometimes, but more frequently now, though, because apparently there's been a rise in crew coming to work, you know. <laughs> or, probably the stress, like I totally get it. Must be holiday travel and people are kind of crazy these days, but yeah, don't worry. It's only going to take like two minutes. You won't be late for your flight. Oh my God, who would do such a thing? This guy was acting super sus on my flight. He just kept walking back and forth. And going in and out of the toilet. OMG my- attendants we see some freaky dicky shit like we travel around the world we stay in hotels all around the world and we don't get a say on where we stay because the airlines that we work for put us there i'm going to share with you guys a scary story of my flight sister it's it's like seriously terrifying this was one of her first flights okay she flew into osaka japan they put her into a hotel and apparently this hotel is known to be haunted she didn't know that all right, so she's sleeping and then all of a sudden she wakes up and there is this like lady with long black hair like the ring hovering over her. She couldn't move. 
She couldn't scream. And then all of a sudden, this crazy ass ghost lady slaps her in the face and then faces her head towards this painting. This was her room. That was the painting. This is her like freaking out on Instagram of what happened. But she flew into this painting and then her hair turned into these squiggly line things. Finally, she was able to move. Okay, she freaked out. She ran to the front desk in her pajamas without shoes like a crazy person, was telling the front desk what happened, and they were all like, oh, mm, yeah, uh, sorry, we don't have any other rooms we can put you into. Like it was like normal or something. So instead, she ended up like banging, banging on the door of her crewmate who let her sleep in her room. So that was the end of that, and she was like terrified, right? Right? Okay, so we thought that, you know, we'll never have to hear of this again. Okay, so we're watching TV. And you guys know who BTS is, okay? For those that don't know who BTS is, they are the number one uh, K-pop band in the world. Okay? They had this special in Osaka, Japan. In a hotel. Okay? Yo! In the same freaking room! <laughs> Yo, I, and I know that these, like, it's the same, like, painting in many of the rooms, but they said in the video the room number, and that is the freaking room number. So, are you okay? Oh my gosh! Did something happen? Ah! something to snack on? I've noticed both you and your husband had nothing to eat. Oh no, thank you. And I don't want to wake up my husband. He's just had a really long week. Uh, I'm not hungry, but I am cold though. Can I please get another blanket? Of course. Here you go. Thank you. Are you sure maybe you want something warm to drink? I'm actually okay, but could you grab a green tea with milk and sugar for my husband when he wakes up though? Certainly, of course. Hey, just so you know, the passengers in 12 A and B had nothing to eat or drink this entire time. Oh, that gentleman? Yeah, the purchase said not to wake him. Oh, really? Okay, well, the wife, though, is awake and she hasn't had anything to eat either. Oh, someone was sitting next to him? I didn't notice. Yeah, the lady next to him is his wife. You're finally awake! Your wife actually asked me to bring you that green tea. What do you mean, my wife? Your wife? Uh, I guess she went to the lavatories. Did you put milk and sugar in my green tea? Yes, I'm sorry, is that incorrect? Uh, your wife is the one that told me to do that for you. My wife passed away last week. I'm taking her home on this flight. I'm sorry, uh, there, there was a lady that was sitting next to you. She said she was your wife and not to wake you up because you had a long week and to bring you a green tea when you do wake up and she was cold, she was chilly. So I gave her a blanket? She's in cargo, but I believe you. This is how I drink my green tea. And I, I think she's just worried about me. That's so sweet. So sweet. <laughs> now would you care for something to no. drink get me another server is there a problem sir i refuse to be served by an asian i'm sorry i'm actually in charge of this section so it will be me serving you sir you can stop talking to me now because i don't understand asian so just get me your supervisor certainly sir hello you requested to speak to me the server can't even speak English, and I need someone that can understand me, so can you just send me someone else? Sir, all of our crew speak English, and you are sitting in her section, so you will be served by her. I don't want an Asian serving me, all right? 
I don't know if anyone has ever told you this, sir, but uh, you're, you're Asian. What does that matter? Okay, well, your request is denied. My colleague over here will continue to serve you because this indeed is her section. If you have a problem with that, I can tell the captain to turn the plane around so we can offload you. You will further be blacklisted off this airline, so what would you like to do? Fine, I just won't eat or drink anything then. Sir, would you like chicken or beef for your meal? Still at it? All right, all right, okay. Sir, would you like a snack or a drink? Are you sure? Because this flight is 16 hours and if you don't... Oh, 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 okay, okay. Sir, we're serving dinner now. Are you sure you don't want anything? Okay, please, at least have some water. You're, you're looking a little bit... Uh, oh, okay, you know what? I give up, I give up. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your flight. Have a nice day. Hey, where's that mean guy? I didn't see him leap yet. Oh yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen him. Sir?